Hey everybody, Dini Kong here with a very quick tutorial on getting started with streaming with OBS. This is actually quite simple. We're just going to grab ourselves a copy of Open Broadcaster software and go ahead and install it. Once that's done, start it up and you'll get a screen like this. This is your display of scenes and your controls. We're going to go ahead and add a new scene here. Then we're going to pop open our Guild Wars 2 and we're going to set it to windowed full screen mode. And we're going to go back to OBS, we're going to add a new source, we're going to set that to monitor capture. We're going to select our primary monitor which Guild Wars 2 is running on, and click OK. If you get an error regarding arrow, don't worry, we'll address that later. Go ahead and click preview and you should see your game just fine. Now we're going to go up to our settings. We're going to make a new settings profile, call it whatever. Go to the encoding tab and set your encoding settings. Personally, I recommend using the X264 encoder using CBR with CBR padding enabled. I don't remember what these do, but that's what I use. And I set my bitrate to 1500 kilobits per second. Uh, if you got a slower connection, you might want to drop that down. If you got a faster connection, make it higher, whatever. Audio encoding, personally, I don't find to be that big of a deal, but I find that the AAC codec with a 128 bit rate at 44.1 kilohertz is just fine for whatever you're doing. Next, we'll go to our broadcast settings. We'll be using the live stream mode. In this case, I'm going to be using Twitch. I select my server, something nearby. I'm in Boston, so I select New York. You can get your stream key from your Twitch dashboard on the stream key settings. Make sure you keep this private. Just hit show key and then copy and paste that into your stream key box. Auto reconnect, I recommend keeping enabled just in case you get a hiccup in your server connection or something. And I don't enable saving the file. I mean, maybe if you want to keep a perfect record of everything, since Twitch's VOD thing is going to be strained soon, maybe you want to record it as well. You can also set hotkeys here if you want to. Up to you. Video settings. Set your video adapter to whatever your current graphics card is, and your resolution should be based on whatever your monitor is. And I usually set the downscaling to 1.5, since you really don't need a super high resolution for Twitch streaming. Um, it's extremely unlikely that you or the people watching have the bandwidth to do 1080p streaming, so that's fine. Uh, filters by linear and the FPS, I'll set to 30. YouTube uses 30. If it's good enough for your YouTube, it's good enough for Twitch. As I mentioned earlier, here's the disable arrow button. I recommend checking this. It will prevent Windows from drawing all the fancy things that it usually does, which will get you a little bit more FPS and may help prevent artifacts and weird behavior on your streams. On the audio tab, you can select your desktop audio device, which is like your game audio, and you can also set a microphone or auxiliary for your talking. Uh, you can also set some push-to-talk keys if you want those. The advanced tab, this is more if you know what you're doing. If you have a multi-core computer and you know how to optimize it, you can go ahead and tweak with these, but um, if you don't know what you're doing, you can go ahead and just leave them. Uh, there's no shame in that. Now that we got that all set, I'll usually go to preview stream and I'll make some noise and maybe talk a little bit so that I can see that the microphone and the speakers are showing properly. You can see there that it's going up and down because I'm yelling. And now we can go ahead and start our stream. Go over to the Twitch dashboard and wait the 20, 30 -ish second that Twitch delay has. Uh, just make sure that your stream is working fine. I recommend you keep it muted after it's all done. I mean, you can keep it running just to make sure there's no hiccups, but if you put the sound on, then you're going to get creepy echoes and whatever. But yeah, now you have a stream. Now go, go become an e-celebrity like your buddy Dini Kong. If you want more information about OB streaming, there's a very good tutorial on the Twitch website that I have linked in the description. And stay tuned on this channel for more tutorials about video creation, streaming, so on and so forth. Thanks for watching. Bye.